What's up guys? Today I have this, a mini cake pan or a cakelet pan. It is super cute. I keep buying these because I keep thinking that, oh my gosh, they look so cute, but I seriously, I never know what to do with them. So today I am going to decorate them. I don't like the way they look when they're naked. I don't like the way they look when they are just decorated with a little piped outline. Sorry, no offense. So we're gonna try something different. I am going to venture into the world that I always avoid, the world of poured glaze. So don't expect too much from me today, but let's give this a try. Let's see what happens. To start, I got one of my awesome pretty little books and I picked a vanilla glaze recipe from it. I am not even going to get into the details of that because it was a flop. It did not work. I should have known better when I saw that the glaze was super runny, but I did not know better because this is not my thing. I'm not very good at this. So I still went ahead and I tried it. See, it's super runny. I still went ahead and I started to glaze my little cakelets, but the glaze just kept running through and it ended up being so translucent that I decided to add more sugar. And here you can see that it is so stiff that it's barely even moving. I probably should have given up at this point on this glaze, but I kept playing with it. I kept trying to add more milk, add more sugar, add more layers of icing onto each little cake. And um, it was just, it was just too complicated. So I decided to give up on this recipe and start all over again. So this time I added 12 ounces of powdered sugar. I added a half a teaspoon of vanilla and I very slowly, teaspoon by teaspoon, added four teaspoons of milk at room temperature. This ended up being a pretty decent glaze. I dyed it pink and look how pretty it's coming out. It's finally working for me. There's something about pink and heart. I just love it. It's so cute. All right, now that I have all of them glazed, I just started decorating them. I made some rainbows. I made some happy faces. I added some gold details because everything is better when it's shiny and full of sprinkles. And I don't, I did not get a clip, but my daughter dropped the whole camera on top of some of them. And that's why I made some with extra sprinkles and extra glaze on top. I saved them and I think they look really cute. I think they are just gonna keep getting better and better. Next time I make them, they should be much easier. So I'm very happy with the way they came out. Yay, I got happy faces and kissy faces. These were the first ones. So the unicorns are probably the sloppiest ones, but they're still super cute. Okay guys, this is it. The super cute cakelets or mini cakes. I think they came out cute. I personally think they were too much work for me, but I don't know, maybe I'll give them a try again. I wanna know what you think. I wanna know if you are going to give them a try, if you have actually done this and have been more successful than I have, if you have a different way of decorating this tiny little cake, let me know. I would love to hear from you guys, so please, Leave me a comment. I want to hear from you guys. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up, that bell icon, so you can know where my, when my new videos come out. And I will see you guys again next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.